Hey y'all, I am so excited. I woke up this morning to find Leanne Horton passed out drunk in my front yard. That little slut getting out of my yard. What the hell is she doing in here? I cannot believe it. No, 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 no. That's not why I'm excited. So I marched myself down to City Hall and told them old crotchety coos that Buckspoon needed to dry up. There's too much drinking in this town. It's just, it's dangerous. And no person should worry about their property value going down just because Leanne Horton can't find her own damn house. It's just not dignified. Get up! Get up! Oh, get up! Ah! And then they said yes. I did it, girls. I affect real change. I think I found my calling. Shutting down liquor stores. No, politics. I'm really good at it. I mean, think about it. What am I always doing? Telling other people what to do. Yes, and organizing things. That's all them politicians do anyway, right? They organize the town and then they tell people what to do. I can do that. I don't know. Politics is a dirty game. The media's gonna dig up all your little dirty secrets. I do not have dirty little secrets. I am an open book who only wants what's best for her community. And for Leanne Horton to keep her hot mess out of my yard. I have a voice and it will be heard. Lisa May, are you even listening to me? I think I messed up, babe. Bubba's been around a lot lately, and we've been hanging out and all. He really is nice, and I don't want to hurt his feelings, but he asked if we could go out, and... So, Mama told me that I was going to die alone, so I was just wondering if you wanted to go out with me? Bubba, I'm just not ready for a long-distance relationship. Term. I meant long-term relationship. I got flustered. And then he asked... Well, where are you going? He's just so... And I'm not... Flustered, y'all. I'm going to study marine biology. Oh, well... Okay. I don't really even know what that is. I mean, I went to SeaWorld one time and I just felt real bad for those whales. I don't know anything about fish. I think I'm gonna have to move. Damn it, Daryl. She done had all the liquor stores closed down. Mama is madder than thunder. What the hell was Wenda thinking? Look, she just gets ideas in her head sometimes, okay? Look, you need to get control of your woman. You made out with your sister. She was new in town. That don't make it not messed up. Hey, she wasn't my sister until I found out. Look, I don't like that I can't get my beer, but there's nothing I can do about it. Wenda is a strong, independent woman with her own goals and aspirations. Well, what the hell, Oprah? We gotta do something about this. Lamar is starting to sober up. There's not a drop of booze in town. It's just it's just not right. It's only been a half a day, Louie. Yeah, but Lamar's got to have a certain blood alcohol level at all times. It's... It's just messed up. Look. Gentlemen, this is an opportunity. All right? Bug Spoon ain't the spoon without liquor. It's like the lube of this town. Yeah. And it makes your tongue numb. Gross. But yeah. Look, if we could get booze into this town, we could be heroes. Like Paul Revere, riding in on a white horse. Made of liquor. 
I've been dreaming of this moment for a long time. Ever since I was a kid, I was born to bootleg like Bandit or the Duke boys or them other two guys that came on after Dukes of Hazard wasn't as good. I was meant for bigger things. I wonder if I should give me a mustache. What do you think? Are we supposed to be putting signs in people's mailboxes without asking? I am doing this for your future, Jodine. I am a candidate for the people. The people are pissed because they can't get beer. The people need to keep their trap shut if they know it's good for them. You know, some people think that the government should stay out of people's business. And some people think that Leanne Horton's trashy ass should stay out of people's front yards. Are you still squawking about Leanne Horton? Y'all, I don't even think it's an election year. <laughs> hey, Lisa May. <laughs> and, and dolphins can carry their young up to their nest for 200 miles for food. I don't even know what she just said. Dolphins uh, have nests? Are they birds? Lisa May seems pretty serious about studying fish. Well, that's what marine biologists do. I guess there wasn't enough fish to study in the park pond, but that's all she talks about. She just goes on and on and on. Did you know that dolphins can eat four times their body weight in insects per day? That's what Lisa May says. I guess they're like ocean bugs or something. And we're gonna raise everybody's kids because it takes a village. Everybody, you don't even know what you're talking about. The bandit car had speed, but the general Lee could jump. All right. Now, seeing as there ain't too many hills around here, I think I gotta go with speed. Well, I call snowman. Hmm? If you get to be the bandit, I get to be snowman. I'm gonna have to buy a semi truck. Mm -hmm. What the hell is he doing here? I told you I didn't even want to look at him. Hey, Joe, do you hang on? Daryl. Hmm. He cannot be here. One day. This is a close rehearsal. And then why is Jody in here? She is my campaign manager. She is with me all the time. We have political things to discuss all the time. Okay, okay. I don't really care. Close rehearsal policy was Trenton's idea and he ain't here no more. Daryl! I'm sorry, Lisa May. It's fine. I'm fine. You know, I have more things to worry about now than whether or not someone who doesn't even want to be here is here or isn't here with me or without me. I mean, I have so much more on my plate. Dolphins are aquatic and sometimes they're really good at soccer. What's the matter with her? to bring your friend, no. didn't you? Do you know what it is? There's a hate in this house. Hey, Lisa May. You look a million miles away. Mind if I sit? Hey, Lamar. Lamar. You look like you could use a listening ear. Sometimes there's not enough of those around. It's just... Bubba Hughes asked me on like a date date and I don't want to go with him on a date date but I didn't want to hurt his feelings and I just got flustered and so I told him that I was moving away but I don't want to move away. Now I might have to move away or I could just tell him the truth which would hurt his feelings which I didn't want to do in the first place. You've been holding that back for a while now. <laughs> Listen, uh, Bubba Hughes is a good man but he's, you know, a lot like Bug Spoon. Familiar, comfortable. You don't need comfort right now I don't think, you know. The world's a big place, full of adventure if you're willing to go out and find it. Maybe this isn't about Bubba's feelings or Bug Spoon or any of the people around here. Maybe, maybe this is about you. Well, Linda's my best friend and Jodine's my sister. The boys around here aren't terribly smart, but they are sweet and Bug Spoon is kind of all I know. I'm sure it is now. But, you know, Jodine's still going to be your sister. And, and Wenda's going to be your best friend forever. But you don't need to take care of her. She's got her own life. And you don't need to take care of any of Bug Spoon or anybody here. You just need to take care of Lisa May. Well, what about Bubba? Uh, Bubba's a sweet kid. He maybe wears his feelings a little close to the surface. But, you know, 
he deserves the truth. It takes a lot of guts coming out and telling somebody you care. That, that kind of courage deserves the truth. I guess you're right. Can I hug you? It's been kind of a long week. Sure. Lamar, you don't uh, smell like, um, like... Alcohol? Yeah, I guess I wouldn't right now. Change is inevitable, though we rage impotently against it. Thanks, Mark. Sweet kid. I miss you too, friends. I miss you too. I talked to Bubba and I told him the truth. I told him that I wasn't really moving away and that I wasn't really going to become a marine biologist. I think he took it pretty well. I mean, the truth isn't always easy, but people do deserve to hear it. And then he asked me out again and I told him I was getting LASIK surgery. I'm going to be right there for her when she wakes up from surgery and the first thing that she's going to see with her new eyes is my face. I'm not mad that she lied, I'm just happy she's not moving away. I kind of wish I didn't spend all that money stocking the park pond with all that exotic fish though. Well y'all, my run in politics is through. The political world can be brutal. In the past few days, there's been a rash of folks breaking out in fights. Some folks took to paintballing all over the town, mostly to my campaign posters. The mayor and them said that if we took down my signs, maybe the paintball shootings would decrease to normal levels, and that maybe Bucks Boom just wasn't meant to be a dry town. They killed my dream. Oh, hush. You never even decided what car you liked best. You and the boys spent four days arguing and never bootlegged a thing. That's right, four days. The liquor stores were only closed for four days and this town turned into Thunderdome. Oh, honey, the Mad Max car. I didn't even think about that one. I could've put Denny Ray on the front, money. Where's my ice cream? Give me that! Ah! Give me that, you mother-